Hi everyone, so today we're going to be making some meat jelly. To that we're going to need some beef meat in there, uh, just bones, and some chuck meat, carrots, onion, peppercorns, bay leaf, salt, and fresh parsley. So first we're going to boil the meat and the bones. As you can see all this stuff, it needs to go. So you can spoon it out and then wash all your meat. Uh, with your hands uh, to remove all the stuff because you want to have a pretty uh, presentation in the end and remove all this stuff and wash the pot completely so the meat is ready it's all clean and the pot is ready so putting put in the meat and the bones and put enough water to cover the meat just enough to cover the meat we're going to cook this for about three hours before we do anything else. Make sure you cover and cook it on medium low. So it's barely boiling. In the meantime, while this is almost done, I peel the carrots and the onions. So you just want to have that ready. And we're going to slice the onion in half to have more uh, available juices to come out to make it more flavorful so i put it uh the side down and we're gonna cook this for about another hour and as you can see it's already um softened up we're gonna remove the carrots and the onion don't throw away the carrots we'll still use it so now it would be the perfect time to check, test if your meat water, uh, if this becomes jelly. So put it in the refrigerator, as you can see on the spoon, and it become jelly in w within like 20-30 minutes. became jelly as it became cold. That means it will set. It's more of a confirmation. Into your glass dish or whatever you're going to use, I have two. I sliced the carrots that we had cooked in the meat. So it's soft carrots and some parsley. Here's the meat. Uh, you just want to chop it up or however you want to do it. The meat, you just want to take it out. Do not, and then place it into the, uh, on top of carrots and parsley. With the liquid, you want to make sure that you salt because if it doesn't taste good, it's not going to taste good. So then you just want to either put it through sieve to get all the extra oils out. Or you can just pour it in like I did. Um, as you can see, that's how beautiful it's going to look. This stuff is very healthy to eat because it helps for your bones. So this is really good. So this stood overnight, as you can see, it became all jelly naturally, no gelatin added. And see all this white stuff on top? That's because we didn't remove the oils that you can use um, to remove before you pour it in. And here it is. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please like and subscribe uh, to get more great videos. Here is the second second one as you can see this is so cool and we usually have these on like parties and stuff it's very nice look at that it's like a pro you guys totally need to try this out and this may sound funny but people use also a uh, chicken feet it's kind of i don't know i like to use beef feet doesn't look as scary than chicken feet <laughs> But you just throw them away anyways. Look at that perfect square. No gelatin added, like I said. Like and subscribe. Till next time.